morning welcome welcome everybody welcome to my channel my name is Chrissy and today I'm going to be giving you a prediction reading for the 20th of August now first up um, congratulations to the Matildas um, they did fight it out for bronze with Sweden congratulations Martin you won the soccer I have to say those Swedish are very attractive people aren't they all that team was absolutely stunning. They, you do have beautiful skin over there, you Swedes. And I must say, you're very good at playing soccer. Oh my gosh, your footwork was incredible. So congrats, Martin, you Swedes have had a win in the soccer. Um, but we still enjoyed the Soccer World Cup. It's been really good actually hosting that in Australia. My hubby and I were saying that last night. It's good to give people a little bit of joy in their life when there's so much BS and crap just coming down on people just to see people get that little bit of life energy and a bit of spark in their life was just brilliant here down in Australia. Um, oh, yes, Elbow was there, of course, cheering the girls on, winning over a few votes and different things. <laughs> um, what else has been happening in the world, guys? I've been watching Richard Vobes and Carl Vernon. But yes, there's a lot going on in the world. If you want to find out what's happening, keep up to date. Go and check their channels out. Funny as. Um, we know there's the new variant. Is it, um, what is it? Esri or something like that. Oh, there's always a new variant. Not thinking the uptake's going to be so great though, guys. But, you know, let's get the masks happening again and lock things down. Sooner the better for the global elites. Not really seeing it happening though. It, it might get ignored a bit like the monkey pox that I was talking about the other day. Anyway, I bought some cards along too, guys. Um, I'll close my eyes, we'll get started, and we'll see what comes up. Hey, how are you guys going with your ailments? I'm having very restless nights. I just want to let you guys know what I'm going through, not just to be a whinging hypochondriac, but just to let you guys know what I'm feeling to, to so you guys can share... Oh, I'm tired, obviously not getting sleep. And I know you guys aren't getting a lot of sleep either. I'm finding my legs putting out my neck, which is putting out my jaw. Like my jaw's really sore this morning. I had to take some painkillers. Um, this is just the weirdest thing. Um, so let me know if you guys are kind of still, I know a lot of you are really challenged with this too. It's just, it's so weird. I think we might have to do a whole video on these ailments in our bodies, guys, because if you want me to do that, um, I think we need to really start focusing on it and getting into that next level of the ascension, moving more towards that 5D, because it is it, it is that the zipper being stuck on the suits of growth. I was calling them the other day, wasn't I? All right, let me close my eyes, guys. If you are new, please subscribe. Hit those like buttons, guys, and feel free to comment down below. Um, we chat to each other here on my channel, so feel free to chat about the way you're feeling and things you're going through. All right, let's get started. Oh, I'm getting the controversy, oh, around Maui, Hawaii. We know there is, we know there's talk of the land buy-ups, we know all the big corporates are coming in. But we all knew that. We knew this was going to happen. We knew there were little islands going to be wiped out and rebuilt by the global elites. Not even surprising here on my channel. But the good thing is that there's a lot of controversy around what's happened and how it happened and what's gone on. So it's getting people talking. So I guess we have to take this as a positive, guys. The fact they're talking about these laser beam things and all this kind of stuff, um, the microwave vibrations, cooking things. We know it happens. I told you guys they used the sonic devices at the um, marches here in Australia. I got a really bad migraine when I got home and my girlfriend got really burnt lips and another one got a headache. Um, it really affected a lot of people. So imagine, mm, anyway, it's causing a lot of controversy over there and that's a good thing because it gets people talking and that's what we want people talking about. Uh, but, of course, we don't want them talking about the global warming. But, see, to me, as much as we get frustrated here on my channel and we probably think, oh, people will think it's global warming, bugger, um, I don't think they all are because I think they realise, hang on, this doesn't feel natural. 
like, you know, you get a fire that goes through. And I think the other thing was people were being led down the garden path by the uh, authorities in the area, as far as I know. They were leading them down wrong streets. When you hear any of those interviews on YouTube, go check some out, guys. Um, it sounds like they were being redirected into different areas and it sounds like there wasn't a lot of firefighting going on. There was Things are very questionable around these things. Um, oh, sorry, guys. I'm so tired today. Um, I feel like now I feel like in Australia we're going to cop these fires soon. It'll be interesting because we've sort of copped unnatural fires last time that happened here. And I know you all remember it. And now we're getting into those warmer days. It's starting to warm up. You kind of think, oh, here we go. It all feeds into the perfect narrative. How's the enormity of what they're doing and what they're feeding everyone? It's enormous. You can't even get your head around it, can you? You just think, oh, what are they doing? How are they just, it's just a relentless coming at people, coming at people, coming at people. With BS, as we know here on my channel. I've actually got a nice sunny day with blue sky here, guys. It's beautiful outside today. It's about going to be 18 degrees. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Mornings are still cold, though. Um, okay, let's keep going. I keep getting these books. I keep getting... Yesterday, I got the story of all the books being written around this clown show... CV agenda stories, all the crap that's suddenly coming out. Um, you know, we'll have the renewable, you know, the fake renewable story. It'll be all this stuff. Um, <laughs> and, and I'm just getting, they're saying to me, these are going to be bestsellers. They're going to be bestsellers. They're going to be bestsellers. This is in years to come. I'm seeing like about 10 years time. It, it, oh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. But I am getting, they're going to be bestsellers. <clears throat> Probably not with us because we seem to work the story out and we don't really need to read it because we already know the BS detectors here on my channel, what the hell is kind of going on. Yes, I agree. We don't know all that's about to be fed to us, but we have a fair idea that it ain't going to be great and nothing to the little people, peasants and Lego people's advantage um, as usual. But these people who are just starting to piece their crime investigation board and, and start to realise who's connected to who and what's going on, um, they're going to be the ones that are really going to um, want to get their hands on these books and work out what the hell actually happened to their lives back then. Um, because what you've got to remember, guys, and this is the weird part, is that, and this is the sad part, is that they've been in a mass psychosis. They've been in a mass psychosis for the jab wheel. So probably they've missed a lot. There's, it's like if you take away someone's, you put someone in a, in a hypnosis, for example, that period of time is gone for them. It's like, I don't remember doing that. What? I can't remember. It's like when someone like drinks too much or takes too much drugs, they blank out. There's a blank out period. Well, that's what's happened with these people with the mass psychosis around the jab wheel. They don't know. Well, <laughs> Well, they don't know what we know. What happened during that four years? Oh, my God. It's nearly four years. Um, well, they know, they're they starting to come out of their slumber now, um, and they're taking off the bubble denial suits. But remember, they still don't know what's happened in that period of time because they were living in a different reality. And that's what we've got to remember. So it's saying these people will be the ones to buy this book, these series of books, um, about the clown show and everything that went on way back when, you know, pandemic of the young jab, you know, all this kind of crap that was happening without them even knowing it. It's like a blanked out period of time because they were on a different reality. And we know they were on a different reality. They didn't, they weren't at all on the one that we were on. So that one day they'll want to find out about it and they're going to go back and they're going to read about what went on in this time and it'll be quite horrifying to many um it, it'll be quite horrifying to many um just like for example auschwitz was horrifying to many when people around the world not just germans 
woke up to what was really going on behind closed doors and behind the fences and these camps, it was horrifying to many. It was. It was so shocking. It still is shocking to this very day, isn't it? But the fact that, for example, this is just an example. Um, I remember talking to my sister when she was down here not long ago, um, and I was saying to her that when they started building those wellness camps, it started to frighten a lot of us unjabbed people. This is just an example. And, and she thought I was completely crazy. She said, what? Because they started building um, special camp things even in the little country town where I live. These camps, the wellness camps, um, were going up everywhere. And I said, we started to get nervous that we were all going to be marched off and forced to get the pickies. Um, th these things went through our minds and that wasn't unrealistic at the time because we felt so ostracized and isolated. So this is an example of what they didn't see. That's an example of what they didn't see. Um, oh, there's so many things, God, we could list them off, guys, couldn't we? Leave one down below, guys, that you could think of that might go in the books um, that they didn't see, things they didn't see. We know another one would be they didn't see all the side effects of the jab and I keep saying to you they're just starting to come out now because people are getting braver and stronger and coming together in um, their truth groups telling their true stories um, they didn't see that they didn't see that there were jab injuries oh no because they were told in their reality safe and effective they were told so many things you won't spread it you'll save the elderly you'll help your friends and family and neighbors they were told so many things and we, on our reality, it was just complete different version. So I do feel like they're going to be the ones in the long term, probably 10 years, that are going to be really reading these books to find out what went on. God, it has been like two complete different realities, hasn't it? Not anymore though. They're coming out of it. They are. They're coming out of it. Um, because the uptake on the old pickies ain't as great as it used to be. When you realise, oh, well, that didn't really work. Why are you going to bother lining up? Why are you going to be a pincushion for your government? Oh. And now look at the number of ads on TV for all the, oh, yeah, the mysterious things coming up. Heart attacks, shingles. Oh, yeah, myocarditis is getting more and more common. So we should all have defibrillators in our streets. And oh, don't even get me started on this. I know you guys feel the same. All right, let's keep going. God, I'm getting Panda. That's the communist country if you're new here. Panda's got this low-key approach. I feel like um, Panda's got this low-key approach. It's shown me a door. You know how you get doors? Like, say this is an average door, right, and the handle's there. Well, I, I'm seeing... in panda when they approach other countries it's a low doorknob and key it's lower on the door it's very low it's low down um what does this mean what does this mean hang on a low key approach and i think what the guys are trying to say is that they're sneaking into countries um like, you know, if you if someone was trying to turn that door handle, we would see it and we would know it. Whereas if that door handle and a key was lower, we might not see it and, and sense it. Um, that's just what I'm getting for Panda. He's taking the low key approach. So he's, he's being more subtle. Um, he's not being, oh, Z Ping's kind of, um, is being more sneaky, is wanting to sneak into countries, um, or I guess you could say kind of they're saying via the back door. Excuse me. <laughs> via the back door. He doesn't want, he doesn't want people seeing the key turning and the handle moving that he's entering their countries. So he might do it via the back door, but from the lower key, the low door handle approach. So no one notices. Uh, I hope that makes sense to you guys. You can get doors with lower handles. Um, so it's not so visibly obvious. This is what Panda's doing. They're trying to be less visibly obvious um, with the way they take down countries. Um, 
I don't think they can be visibly obvious, um, less obvious, can they? <laughs> but they're taking the backdoor approach in a very low-key kind of um, manner now. That's why it's probably gone a little bit quiet on the uh, intimidation front. Notice there's not a lot coming out about the drones and the... God, half of that wasn't even real anyway. Um, the intimidation flying around Taiwan and all this, it... it They've sort of backed off a little bit from that and they're doing the low-key approach and maybe entering through the back door so it's not as noticed. Very cunning Z-Ping, very cunning man. All right. Get in New Zealand. I'm getting hippos hurrying to the vote. Hippos hurrying to the vote. He wants to get this vote done, dusted and behind him. Um... I think, personally, Hippo thinks he's a shoe in for this. Mm, I don't think so. Mr. VIP, very important person that he is now. Um, he wants this vote. He wants it to come around and be gone so he can just get on with it. We know he's holding back a lot of his little plan. It's showing me him with his hands going, <laughs> like, you know, one of, those, <laughs> one of those characters out of a Batman movie or something like the, what is it? The Joker or someone. Um, I'm getting that. He's, he's, got his, he's hatching his plan, but he can't hatch it yet because he's got to get past the boat. He's got to get past the boat, but he wants it brought on. He was like, bring it on, bring it on. Let's get past the boat and get on with it. That's Hippo at the moment. I feel like New Zealand, you're going to have strikes. You're going to have strikes soon. Uh... I'm seeing teachers, ambos, you know, the usual kind of ones. It'll be about pay. Pay, they want wage rises. Um, see, the thing is, remember people, people are seeing the injustice. They're seeing that the Lego people, peasants, um, and the little poor people aren't getting the pays that all these CEOs, government leaders, all the elites flying around the world. There's a very, very big contrast. Um, even the banks are making their enormous profits. God knows why they put that on TV, but they do, don't they? They put that on the media. What's that just to stir up and annoy the little people? And so this is what I'm feeling in New Zealand. You'll probably have some protest marches soon, but it'll be about pay, pays, wages, um, the lack of jobs, because we know they're all being wiped out. I always say about the building companies, the medium-sized building companies being knocked out by the big, massive corporate companies. Um, so there's the job situation as well. So I do feel there could be some protests in New Zealand soon. Oh, Hippo won't want that disrupting his political um, campaign. He'll want everything to look... To, he'll want everything to be smooth leading up to the elections. <laughs> oh, I hope it is before the elections. <laughs> That'll throw him off his course. All right, let's keep going. Oh, I'm getting the Arctic regions. That's up north, isn't it? Antarctic is down south. The Arctic... Um, oh, is it Atlanta... Um, I'm just getting these words thrown at me at the minute. The Antarctic. I feel like... It, I just keep getting visuals of, like, icebergs um, disconnecting, things floating, things melting. I do feel you're going to... Uh, this would probably be in the northern hemisphere, I would think. You're going to get start being... You're going to start definitely being fed visuals of, wow, look how much this is melting. This is the big ice caps and glaciers and all this stuff. And you are going to end up in massive floods because of this heat. Um, we know it's the global warming agenda that they're trying to push. So I feel like they are really going to create some visual stimulus um, to get people on board. This is in the Northern Hemisphere. To get people on board with the renewables. It's, it's all a big act. We know it's all fake trickery of the camera and all that. Look oh, look what they do on the TV shows. I mean, the movies and all that. Not even hard, but they're going to make it as though if you don't, if we don't do something very quick with this warming, um, 
all the water's just going to rise and we're going to drown anyway, pretty much. <laughs> These are the kind of extreme things they're going to say to you. And you'll get ads for this now. You'll get ads like, <laughs> but it'll have nothing to do with it. See, this is the thing where the BS detectors, we see these things. They'll have, for example, they'll show you like a glacier falling into the water or like a big iceberg like moving away and just melting over a 24 hour period or something abnormal, ridiculous. And then they'll show someone plugging in an electric car. So they'll associate that with an electric car, which as we would know, would be like, huh? What? That's ridiculous. Like we would call it out, but there's always people that fall for it. We know they try to do their mass psychosis again in different ways. So if they can scare the crap out of people and put fear back in the people, that they figure that will help to roll everything out. God, they're so determined to get all this crap out. It's just the strangest thing to observe, isn't it, guys? Um, <clears throat> so I do feel you're going to get hit hard with that. Well, if you don't do this, then you're going to flood. That's kind of, you know, like the Noah's Ark kind of thing. You're going to have to build an ark, load everyone up and float away, guys. That's what they're pretty much, that's the extreme of what they're going to start to feed you soon. Oh, my God, Father. It's just too much, isn't it, to even take in. Oh, well, I suppose it's more things for us to laugh at and have a giggle at, guys, isn't it? <laughs> uh, so they're going to really start to bombard people with all of this now. Not that anyone could afford an electric car. No one can afford a new car in general because everyone's just surviving with the cost of living. And like I keep saying, this isn't over yet. This cost of living is going to go into 2025. There will still be interest rate rises. There will still be food going up. It is a very, very dire situation that people are now finding themselves in. It, it's, <clears throat> and they keep thinking the government's going to save them. Bloody hell. Anyway, all right, let's see if there's anything else, then we'll pull some cards. <clears throat> God, the guides are showing me the electrical switch has gone on. That's for the people waking up. Sleepwalkers, people slipping off the bubble denial suits. The electrical switch has gone on and there's no short circuit. You know how sometimes it trips the power and it gets overloaded and then it turns everything off? They call it the trip switch, don't they? The kill switch, got a few different names. Well, that hasn't happened. The light's gone on and the light is staying on. There's a great surge of power now. Um, there's an abundance of power is what I'm getting in these people waking up. Um, the light's getting brighter, it's getting stronger. And the light switch is staying on. It's not tripping anymore. The switch isn't going out. It's staying on. Oh, it's so good. It's showing me like once they put the switch on, it's showing me the solar panels on the roof. It causes more charge and it makes everything charge more. So there's more electricity and light coming through um, because the power from the solar panels is getting to the switch and it's all just... Um, the light's getting brighter. And when your light gets brighter, your solar panels work better. So this is what the guides are trying to say to us. The more light there is, the more things charge up. And that means people wake up. That's just an analogy that they're giving me, which is a very strange one, I know. We get some weird ones here on this channel, guys. Um, Okay, let's pull some cards. We'll pull some of my new ones. Oracle of the Hidden Worlds. These are interesting, these cards, aren't they? Let's see what we get. Oracle of the Healing Hidden Worlds. Oh, we've been living in two worlds, haven't we? It's been so weird. Resurrection. We got resurrection yet again yesterday. Remember months ago I talked about the resurrection stone and Jesus coming into who he really was and being reborn. And I got it yesterday too. Come back, rebirth, renewal. God, that's appropriate, isn't it? Very ethereal energy in that card, isn't it? Resurrection. It is. People are coming back, guys. Come back, rebirth, renewal. Not us. We've already been reborn. We've already emerged from the caterpillar into the butterfly and we've found ourselves again. Despite our niggling ailments, which I'm still mystified by, guys. I don't get, you know, we've got this, you know, it's almost like 
we have this fantastic emotional sense of freedom in our bodies where we've emotionally let go of past hurts, angers, fears, all these kind of things. And we've learned how to flow with our emotional state and our feelings, etc. But now it's like we're a little bit crippled up in our physical body. I feel like this is physical. Um, well, it is physical, isn't it? Half of us can't walk or turn our head. Um, but there's something very physical going on in our bodies. Very physical, actually. Um, Oracle, sacred living, spirit speaking intervention. Hmm, interesting. Sacred living, spirit speaking intervention. God, we need a bloody intervention to help us with our ailments because they seem invisible and no one can work out what the hell's going on with us. Maybe she's cooking up a concoction of herbs to help <laughs> um, spiritually to help us move our bloody aches and pains. Um, but spirit speaking, sacred living. Sacred living, when I think about that, a lot of us do that anyway, don't we? We're very um, aware of our um, mind, body and soul and keeping it all in a very healthy, nurtured place. We do look after ourselves spiritually, but we could use an intervention. We could use an intervention. Um, it's, it's the strangest thing, isn't it, guys? Interesting. Insight. Magical tools, writing, star crafting. Oh, wow. And this looks like very ancient wisdom to me. Look at this wizard kind of guy. He's got like his, looks like a feather pen, doesn't it? And he's writing. He's got, he's got good insight. See, we have got good insight. Magical tools. We have got the tools to help us to grow, expand and move to those next level, guys. Writing and star crafting. See, to me, that is getting into our creative energy as well, isn't it? But we do have the insight. Maybe what they're trying to tell us is we have the insight and the tools to help improve what we're suffering and what we're kind of currently going through. Um, let me get one more card with this. That's just strange. Oh, this flipped over. Tree of Souls. Collective Wisdom, Kinship Group and Library. Oh, Look at that. It's like a tree house almost. There's a little door going in, isn't there? I mean, that's getting back to nature, isn't it, really? Tree of Souls. What beautiful cards. These cards are so beautiful, aren't they? Collective Wisdom, Kinship Group and Library. Now, when I think of that, I think of the Collective Wisdom. Well, that's kind of growing. See, we that's like my massage lady said the other day. You might not have... You know, your body might not be perfect at the moment. You've still got your marbles. You've still got your wisdom. You've still got your knowledge. You've still got the know-how to, to teach yourself. You know, we can still go watch videos on YouTube. We can laugh. We can do all these things. Um, kinship group is pretty much what we've kind of formed here. We're, we're kindred spirits. We've all, we've all connected here on my channel because we share similar um, beliefs, I guess, and we un understand things that maybe other people don't see, um, but we sort of... Um, have a laugh in all of that, really, don't we? Because it's crazy to us that people can't see these things. And library, when I think of library, um, that to me is about research. You know, if you think of literally going to a library and pulling books out, it's no different to, well, pulling cards out, isn't it, off a pile, or just getting on YouTube, tapping around and learn, keep learning and growing off someone on YouTube and listening to things. That's how, you know, that's why these podcasts and things are so successful People like to learn off other people. So I am getting that today, the tree of souls. Or you could go and sit out under a tree, which would be nice, and just be, just be under a tree. Um, speaking of, let's pull the Whispering Woods then. Speaking of this tree of souls. These are pretty, these little cards. Haven't read these for a, a few days, have we? Let's see what we get. Cleanse. Wash your weary spirit clean and take a walk in the wooded glades. I do believe we've still got a bit of cleansing to do. It's like that 
um, we got yesterday, those fragments of memories are still stuck in our bodies and causing us problems. So we've got to keep cleansing. Wash your weary spirit clean. Take a walk in the wooded glades. So get out, guys. Get out in nature today. That's my tip. Retreat. Spoil yourself in the morning mist. Breathe in the eucalyptus trees, berries, and wattle. Oh, we love nature. Retreat means just, you know, back away from all the stress and chaos. We get that message all the time from the gods. We don't need to stay in it. We need to just keep living, enjoying our life, doing the simple things. Um, and if you can't walk through the um, morning mist, um, just sit under a tree. <laughs> That's probably what I'll be doing. <laughs> oh, my goodness, guys. We've got to get through this phase. What the hell? It's nuts. Hope. An idea like a single acorn can start a wondrous forest. Oh, so we've got to have hope. We always have to have hope. We always get that song, Why Hopes? Um, but that's true, isn't it? A single acorn, it can create a wondrous forest. It can grow crazy out of control. So we have to have hope because hope is what keeps things alive, isn't it? Um, let's pull one happiness for an outcome. <laughs> These are cute. Let's pull a hope. Um, not a hope, a happiness card. Oh, don't let feelings be facts. Give yourself some space to calm down before you reply. Look at the little candle. Maybe light a candle today. We'll make a little wish about hope. Because candles to me are about hope. I burn lots of candles. I love my house smelling really nice. I love vanilla and all that kind of smell in my house. Um. Give yourself some space to calm down before you reply. And that's also, when I think of that, um, that's about um, <clears throat> when, when you're being attacked or someone's sort of um, talking to you, it's always very important to give yourself a little bit of reaction time. You don't have to reply to things straight away. Even if someone shoots you a text or an email, give yourself time to just think and focus. Um, it's very important because sometimes you can react straight up and it, you kind of go oh, I wish I'd sort of thought that through a bit more so I think we're getting a bit of a few different meanings in that card um how's your manifesting going has anyone created anyone found the little um Chinese Japanese paper lantern I haven't <laughs> I've been hopeless but that's okay it's just it's just a bit of fun guys isn't it they'll turn up one day when you least expect it remember let things in um, all right, let me see if there's anything to close with today. God, I don't know what the gods are trying to say here. They're saying we've got to trade our aches and pains for joy. We have to trade. We have to trade our aches and pains for joy. Well, we would happily do that, but we don't know how to do that is the question. <laughs> it's all well and good to tell us to do that, gods, but can you give us any more info? <laughs> And the guides are saying that joy joy is created from living an unstructured life. So what they're saying is um, bring a bit more spontaneousness, <laughs> is that a word? Spontaneousness into your life. Um, you know, the other day we got that card. Was it a card or was it the guides were saying do things out of order? I've been doing that a little bit. I used to do things in a lot of order. And now I've been doing, oh, no, it's all right if I go and do that first before I do that. I've been mixing things up a little bit. And I think this is what the guides are saying too. Don't live too structured a life because when you live a very structured life and things don't go to plan, it causes resistance in your body. And when you live a little bit more of an unstructured life, it creates better flow because then when things come and knock you um, off your path, you're able to adapt a lot quicker. This is kind of what the guides are saying to me. We're able to adjust faster. Um, 
So today they want you to do something out of order. For example, oh, it might be that you might vacuum your floor and then you always hang your washing out. Or you might be one of these people, that, I always hang my washing out, then I'll come in and vacuum the floor and make the beds. Or I always make my bed first, then I do the washing up first. This is just example. These are very little examples. Well, today I want you to do that out of order. I want you to do that out of order on purpose. Um, that's what the guys are saying. Because this is how you bring joy into your life. Because um, when you're too structured, and like I said, something happens and then you don't get back to make the beds, you can't cope with it. And it causes that resistance in your body. This is what the guides are kind of, I know they sound like little examples, but if you're a person who is very particular, I know I can be, um, that can that can cause us a lot of tightness in our bodies. Um, and this is just an example. It can be with anything to do with your life. It could be work. It could be anything. Um, so today I want you to do things out of order. The guides are saying it's like practicing... Um, Practicing giving up control, um, that's what it's saying. It, it's about learning um, to flow. And if we can practice giving up control, which sometimes it is hard to do, isn't it, guys? Um, and handing the reins over to somebody else. Like, you know how in your family sometimes you want to sort of do everything? I know as a mum you tend to want to keep everything organised and all the balls in the air. Well, they're saying it's okay sometimes to drop the balls and and give other people a little bit of power as well. Um, I hope that makes sense to you guys. Let's just mix it up a bit today. Hang on a minute. It might help us to flow a bit better. Oh, they give me that Spice Girls song again. Stop right now. Thank you very much. I need somebody with a human touch. Hey, you always on my mind. Um, don't know why we're getting it. We're just getting that. Stop right now. That's <laughs> the Spice Girls. Sure, it's Spice Girls. All right, hang on. Oh, they give me that song. I think it's by Oasis, isn't it? Wonderwall. Today is going to be the day that I'm going to live it all to you. Right now, I should have somehow realized what you got to do. I don't believe in anybody feels the way I do about you now. I love that song. I just really love that song. Don't like Oasis in general. I don't like the Gallagher Brothers. But I do like that song. And I did like some of their songs, but I really like that song. Um, all right, hang on, let's see if there's one more thing. We've had it so many times, but we're getting it again. Kate Bush is running up that hill. We have to keep just running up that hill, guys, um, with no problems. That's the word, with no problems. And that's what we wish we could do. We wish we could run up the hill. We literally can't run up the hill at the moment, most of us, with no problems. So that's our goal today, we're to run up the hill with no problems. Oh, my God, the guides are ridiculous, aren't they? Anyway, on that note, I'm going to leave you with that song. Oh, I keep getting that vision of that <laughs> that um, last bit out of Stranger Things. It was so brilliant, wasn't it, that clip? If you haven't seen Stranger Things on Netflix, go check it out. It's such a brilliant series. Um, so, yeah, Kate Bush running up that hill. And we've still got to stay sitting on the hill watching all this from afar, guys, because it is happening. People are waking up, seeing the truth, and we have to keep staying living in hope that this 
awakening process continues. All right, I'm going to say goodbye from Australia. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy your weekend, everybody. And I'll say goodbye from Australia. Hit those like buttons, subscribe, and please feel free to comment down below. And I'll talk to you in tomorrow's video. Bye, everybody. Bye.